Welcome to the newest episode of The Great Wendy Way. I will be bringing you the top news this week on Broadway. First, starting with television, a lot of shows were canceled this week, including the musical drama on NBC, Smash. After much speculation and a move in time slots, the musical drama will end officially on May 26th. Writers, however, were prepared for this fate, with ratings slipping since the second season premiere, and the season two finale will double as a series finale. The cast includes Katherine McPhee, Deborah Messing, and Angelica Houston, as well as Broadway favorites Christian Borrell, Megan Hilty, Jeremy Jordan, and Bernadette Peters. The season finale will air on Sunday, not Saturday, May 26th. And Smash stars aren't the only ones leaving the small screen. 1600 Pen, Go On, and The New Normal were all canceled as well. 1600 Pen stars Book of Mormon alum Josh Gad, who originated the role of Elder Cunningham on Broadway. And the show is about a dysfunctional and comedic family of the president living in the White House. Broadway veteran Laura Benanti starred in Go On opposite Matthew Perry about a man who enters grief therapy following the death of his wife. And Andrew Rannell starred on The New Normal opposite Justin Bartha about a gay couple who has a baby through a surrogate. Rannells is best known for originating the role of Elder Price in The Book of Mormon. Though these shows are over, our favorite Broadway stars are keeping their spirit up through Twitter. After news of both cancellations, Andrew Rannells tweeted to Laura Benanti, Want to do a musical or get really, really drunk? Benanti tweeted, At least now I can focus on being a professional eater. And Smash star Andy Miantis tweeted to both Benanti and Rannells, Let's do a benefit concert for each other. He later tweeted, So sad that Smash is officially going non-equity. And while it's upsetting to see our favorite Broadway stars leaving the small screen, we wish them the best of luck in their future and hope this means they'll return to the bright lights of Broadway. Last week I announced that Pippin was headed to the big screen and it looks like South Pacific may not be that far behind. UK's Daily Mail reported this week that Hollywood starlet Michelle Williams has been offered the lead of Nellie in the musical remake. She is a three-time Oscar nominee who has starred in Shutter Island, Oz the Great and Powerful, and Blue Valentine. South Pacific tells the story of an American nurse on a U.S. naval base on a South Pacific island who falls for a French plantation owner during World War II. There are also rumors that Hugh Jackman and Justin Timberlake may be joining the cast, but those are in fact just rumors as nothing has been confirmed at this point. Additionally, no production information is known as the movie is in its early pre-production stage. And moving to Off-Broadway, the Off-Broadway Alliance announced nominations for the third Off-Broadway Alliance Awards. The nominees for Best Musical include Fucking Up Everything, Here Lies Love, Murder Ballad, Natasha Pierre and The Great Comet of 1812, and the other Josh Cohen. Nominees for Best Play include Cock, Disgraced, Finks, My Name is Asher Levy, and Vanya and Sonia and Masha and Spike. Off-Broadway favorite The Last Five Years is in the running for Best Musical Revival, and other categories include Best Play Revival, Best Unique Theatrical Experience, and Legend of Off-Broadway Honorees. The full list of nominations can be found at offbroadwayalliance.com. The Off-Broadway Alliance honors commercial and non-profit productions on Off-Broadway and is made up of press agents, producers, theaters, and more. Thanks so much for watching this episode of The Great Wendy Way. I will see you back here on Thursday. And remember to keep checking Stage Door Dish for complete Tony coverage. Thanks so much.